Hello again, we're four. How are you today? I hope that you're doing great with your families. Okay, you know that when we speak about things are happening now, we use the present continuous. We use the present continuous. I am speaking. I am speaking right now. You are listening. You are listening. I am standing. You are sitting. These sentences are in the present continuous. We use the present continuous to speak about things are happening now at the time of the speaking. We have something else called the past continuous. The past continuous. It's something between the past and the continuous. What is the meaning of the past continuous or when do we use the past continuous? We use the past continuous to speak about things happened in the past, in the past, but they took long time. They took long time. The time of happening was very long time. For example, I am reading now. I am reading now. I am reading now. But yesterday, yesterday, the whole day, uh, the 22 hours, I was reading. Yesterday, 22 hours, the whole day, right? 22 hours, I was reading. So this happened yesterday in the past, yesterday in the past. But this action took very long time, long time, 22 hours. So I just changed. This am uh, into the past. The past of am uh, is what? Yes, was. I was reading yesterday. This action happened in the past, but it took so long time. Okay? He is sleeping. He is sleeping. Now he is sleeping. But in the past, the whole night, eight hours, eight hours, he was sleeping. So I changed this is into the past of is is what was he was sleeping. He was sleeping. He is sleeping. The past of is was he was sleeping. Okay, they are playing. Now they are playing. But yesterday, the whole afternoon, they were playing. The bus of R is where? Okay. So these sentences are happening in the present. This is the present continuous. I am reading. You are listening. They are playing. They are eating. Okay. But when I want to speak about things happened in the past, but they took so long time, we use the past continuous. The past continuous. We just change um, is an R to the past. The past of an is was. The past of is is was too. The past of R is where. I was reading yesterday. He was sleeping. They were playing. Okay? If I want to make a question from these sentences, you know from this sentence we just move this one, the helping verb, at the beginning of the sentence. So it's going to be here. Is, and change the I into capital I. Is what? Is he playing, sleeping? Yes, he is or no, he isn't. If I want to make this question in the past, I will do what? Just I will take was at the beginning of the sentence with capital W. Was he sleeping? Yes, he was or no, he wasn't. Look at this one. They are playing. They are playing. I want to make a question from this sentence. Again, this sentence into a question. 
I will take R and put it at the beginning. Late after R. Change the famous letter into capital. R. Zing. Playing. Yes, they are or no, they aren't. Look at this one. They were playing. They were playing. I want to make it a question. I will take where, put it at the beginning. After that, I will add thing. Oh, capital W because the question begins with capital letter ends with a question mark. Where they playing? Were they playing? Yes, they were or no, they were not. And <clears throat> you know that we uh, is, we use he, she, it with is, and also we use them with was, addition to I. So I, he, she, it. With what was? You, we, they, we, where? The thing that I use is with, I will use was with them, except I. With I, I use on. Here, I will also use was with I. So I have I, he, she, it with was. You, we, they with where. The things that I use are with, I will use with where. Because when it's the past of of, was, it's the past of is and on. Okay? Fine. Now you can open your language books. Page 20. What do you remember about Mount Etna? On 26 October 2002, Mount Etna was sleeping. For a long time, this mount was sleeping. The next day, it was grumbling. The whole day was grumbling. Two days later, the volcano was throwing lava into the air. Soon, the lava was flowing down the mountain. All these actions happened in the past, but they took long time. That's why I used the past continuous with them. Mount Etna was sleeping. The next day it was grumbling. Two days later the volcano was flowing. Soon the lava was flowing. Okay, go down to question one. Find the correct ending. The correct ending. Number one, uh, I have five sentences and I have five other sentences. Uh, the other sentences are the sentences, um, the ending of the first sentences. I have um, A was erupting, B were running from their homes, C was flowing down the mountain, D was sleeping quietly, E was grumbling. I will read the sentence and tell me about the ending of this sentence. On 26 of 26 October, Mount Etna, D, the answer is D, it's already done, was sleeping quietly from here. 26 October 2002, Mount Etna was sleeping, right? The next day, uh -huh. The next day, what? The answer is E. It was grumbling. It was grumbling. Number three. 
529 October that means two days later two days later uh -huh. the answer is A erupting yes very good 529 October it was erupting number 4 soon lava the answer C was flowing down the mountain very good number 5 frightened people uh huh what they did frightened people were running from their homes were running from their homes Frightened people were running from their homes. The answer is B. Good. Okay, look at look and talk. This is question two. What was happening when the photographer took this the pictures? Look, we have five pictures. Look at them and tell me what was happening. Use was was and where. Tell me what was happening when the the photographer took the picture. Look here. Uh -huh. Here. It was what? Was sleeping quietly. Okay. The rest you are doing it yourself. You are going to do it yourself. Okay? practice books page 13 it's also about the past continuous we said that when we want to speak about things happening in the past but it took a long time we use the past continuous just to retain is to was we change R into where because was and where is the last of is on and on. Okay, uh, you can look at this page and solve it. It's page 13. Okay, okay. Bye. See you in new lessons. Bye. Have a good day. Bye bye.